When you think about money, what is the first thing that comes to mind? Is it a positive experience? Is it a negative experience? That really determines what is your money mindset, which is what we're going to be talking about today, guys. Now, a lot of the money mindset and the views about money comes from your family. Now, what we've seen is it is the behaviors and attitudes that really revolve around money. And I'm going to show you some tips and tricks to really improve that mindset, getting you set to be successful. Now, like I was saying earlier, the money mindset is created about your past experiences with money if you've had difficulty paying your bills if you've had issues with credit a lot of times this will build a negative mindset whether it be consciously or subconsciously you're going to have those kind of put in your head and a bias or a basis towards money. Now with the bad money habits, guys, some of the bad things are fear and anxiety when it comes to money. Money is just a tool to get what you want. If you could take a minute and kind of separate yourself in your entirety about the feelings of money, again, feeling like a lack of control, negativity around the concepts of money, even when it comes to financial education, a lot of people don't wanna hear about it because they are just putting it off. They are really dismissive or procrastination to budgeting and thinking that it is something is not for them. Now looking at a good money mindset, this is a willingness to look at difficult problems and how you're going to come up with solutions to really solve them. Feeling in control of good behaviors and making decisions around money, solution orientated and acknowledges the progression that you're going to make. When you're starting to build the emergency fund, when you're starting to budget, when you're starting to repay debt, it is really the time guys that you need to reward yourself with what you're doing as you're making progression within those key areas. Now a bad money mindset, like I said, a lot of times can come and negatively impact your not only your monetary also the spiritual in the spiral of negative feelings that you think which can be catastrophic guys it can be very very detrimental when it comes to the amount of debt that you have when you look at credit cards again a lot of people view credit cards as negative however credit cards just like money is a tool to buy what you want now managing the debt and making sure that you do not accumulate the debt is really the trick to staying on a positive mindset so how can you really shift from from that negative mindset into a positive mindset. Number one, you are in control. This has to be a constant reminder, guys, that you are in charge of this ship. You pointed on the direction you want it to be. If you want to spend more time and effort going on the education piece, you absolutely can. If you want to do research, if you want to sit down with someone and do financial counseling like I do, it is really building a positive money basis on a day-by-day -day aspect and making sure and wanting to improve your self-help. Now, number two, being willing to work work. This will not come easy. When it comes to budgeting, guys, the more time and effort that you put into it, the better you're going to see the success of it. When it comes to looking at resources, when you look at YouTube, when you look at TikTok, when you look at Instagram, when you look at books, when you look at the internet, there is more information than we have ever had in our entire life about finance, about developing wealth, about building wealth. Now, one thing that I do have to say in this aspect, guys, is be careful of one, the get rich quick schemes. You know, we have people that are like, oh, you can make $100,000 on YouTube in the course of a month. It doesn't work that way, guys. As much as I love, much as people preach it and live by it and want it to be true, a majority of being financially sound and building a budget and making building wealth takes time. It is not going to be instant short of hitting the lotto for really anything. Number three, acknowledge the progression. Now, this is really a big one, guys. If you're building a budget and you're sticking to the budget, you need to acknowledge the progression that you're making because that is more than a majority of people are doing. A lot of people say they want financial counseling, but they won't spend the time and effort to get financial counseling. Small positive steps will lead to progression over time and will lead to a significantly change of the mindset when it comes to money. Number four, commit to being successful. This again is a really big thing, guys. You might have really good days. You have really bad days, even months, even years. Things happen in life. If it is job loss, if it's an unexpected expense, there are also going to be things that are outside of your control, but it is the commitment being financially free and really going through and changing that mindset. Number five, expressing gratitude. Nobody's financial life is perfect. This is why you have to rely on other individuals. And honestly, this is a reason why personally you should be talking to your family about it. It is something that is very taboo for some reason that people individually, families, even close friends do not talk about money at all. When you could be having issues, somebody could help you out. Even if it is just advice guys to bounce ideas off of what you're going to do, it is really important to have that set in stone. Number six, cut off the negative self-talk. This is one of the biggest things, guys. It's not saying I'm rich, I'm rich, I'm rich. It is saying that you can financially come up with a plan, which you can. If you're going down that negative self-talk, you're actually limiting 
yourself believes, which is gonna be a major roadblock because as soon as something happens, you're gonna say, I told you so, it's gonna go right back to, I knew I could never do this. That is what we do not want, guys. It is going to be small incremental steps to make progression, both the good days and the bad days. Number seven, moving forward. This again is really the long-term mindset. When you look at investment, when you look at paying off debt, think of it holistically on how many years it took you to get that debt. So if you've been living off credit cards for let's say three years, theoretically, it should take you roughly about the same time when you stop using credit cards to pay back those credit cards. You have to make sure moving forward that you're not only getting that emergency fund, but you have a plan to repay the debt. I see a lot of people who do debt consolidation, who do home equities for debt consolidation, but fundamentally, they do not change the spending behaviors, which means in the next couple of years, it's going to be the exact same kind of cycle where they're going to be right back into debt, doing the exact same thing and never truly getting out or paying down or paying off that debt. Same thing comes with investing, guys. Investing is the long-term play. When you look at 5, 10, 15, 20, 30, even 40 years, investing in ETFs, which I always recommend the VOO, not a financial advisor, but it is something that I personally find value in that I invest a considerable amount in if you've checked out some of the videos. But again, it is going to be a long-term mindset. And then adopting a abundant mindset is number eight, guys. Someone else's success is never your loss. Do not try the comparison, guys. If you're trying to keep up with the Jones, if you're seeing, again, the people over on YouTube that are making you know $30,000 a month and you think that is going to be you, you don't know where they came from. You don't know the time and effort to get to that point if they are, in fact, making it and making that much money. I'm really adopting a abundance mindset as opposed to a scarcity one can uh, serve as a reminder that there is enough to go around and you will be entitled to it as long as you go ahead and put yourself out there and come up with a plan. Sorry guys, so that'll do it for today's video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about changing up the mindset. Money mindset honestly is something that I do believe in in its entirety. The more time and effort that you spend in learning about money, reading books, building up your knowledge, coming up with a plan, it will make a difference for the rest of your life guys when it comes to investing. So again, let me know in the comments what you guys think and as always, thank you guys for watching.